Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 9. Alright, before I start, I want to like take this like you know opportunity to thank all of you who has helped me reach 500 subscribers. I reached 500 subscribers uh, yesterday. So like thank you all for like you know watching my content, supporting my content. Uh, I never thought that I would reach 500 subscribers so quickly. I was kind of thinking maybe I'm you know probably going to reach there by the end of 2021 or maybe it won't happen. You know it will take more time. I was at 200 subscribers in uh, the, in January in 2021. So like you know so I'm so very happy that like I've reached this not milestone but this target so quickly and thank you all for letting me you know uh, reach this like you know this this um, this amount of subscribers this target and uh, like I'm just like kind of mentioning this in this video I like you know I am planning on making a video dedicated to this uh, when I reach uh, you know 1k subscribers so when I reach, uh, you know, that milestone, I'll make a separate video, you know, uh, kind of talking about everything and like, you know, I, I, I thank like, you know, a, a video like re re related to like, you, you know, like me reaching and, you know, thanking you guys for letting me reach that amount of subscribers. But that's in the future, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at 500 subscribers. So that's way in the future so yeah that's just something that i wanted to you know say uh, i'm just like taking this opportunity this is the first video i'm doing after uh reaching um uh, uh 500 subscribers so yeah that's the reason why so yeah and yeah thank you everyone like you know like, everyone of you who has like who has been watching my content for quite a while and who are new to my channel as well who have subscribed thank you so much for letting me like you know reach this position so yeah so thank you all so okay so uh, yeah that's like you know that's it now let's talk about uh, my hero academia all right so the previous episode um the previous episode i like you know it, it was one of the most intensive battles in my hero academia uh, at least in my opinion because i'm it, like for me like the previous bat like episodes battle was on par with uh, every intensive battle in my hero academia for example um, deku versus muscular um <clears throat> todoroki versus deku then all might versus uh, all for one and you know all the like, like you know intensive battles that we had in main main battles we had in my hero academia these are all like on par with that all, and also overhaul versus deku that's also another one so yeah i think it's on par with that because the previous episode it was so intense like it was like the scale were kind of like at one time we were thinking that oh like team a is going to win and then we're thinking no team b is going to win and then again back and forth back and forth <laughs> and ultimately it ended in a tie and i think like the, the the match ending in a tie wouldn't have happened if it was not for pony pony was like the real mvp who kind of like, you know helped team b not lose she with her active thinking and with her like you know decision making skills uh made it so that team b won't lose like she could have tried to go for the win and like you know by trying to do that the team would have lost so she take like she took a very quick decision a very quick and sensible decision and decided to stall for time so that like you know they can get the tie so that's some like you know like in, in that position in that like you know state of mind where like like you know everyone's like on on top of her trying to capture her and get her to the prison that was impressive i have to say like her quick thinking that was some something yeah so yeah it was one like you know this was one of the best fights and unfortunately todoroki and like you know everyone lost not lost but it ended in a tie so uh yeah like these like episodes are like uh what can i say making the characters um, like most of the characters are losing and i'm sure because of that they're going to be more determined in the future and also think uh not think but uh, also like you know uh I'm, I'm sure like this will help them grasp the win in future battles like this is just a mock battle you know like winning or losing it doesn't matter much but when a real villain comes that's when the time like you know that's the real thing 
So them losing here will probably help them win in future battles. So that's like the positive thing in this. So yeah, anyway, so without further ado, let's get started with episode number nine of My Hero Academia season five. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Okay. <clears throat> Fourth match. <laughs> yeah, like Bakuga made a plan. Let's see what that is. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. And I'm really liking the fact, I mentioned this before as well, like, I really, really li liking the fact that even class B is getting their, like, you know, time to shine. And we're seeing what their actual quirks are and how they fight, you know, like, half of the P like characters we didn't even know, like, you know before so like this is like so um what can i say um like th this is like like a, 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 a character arc not character arc but this is like a arc which kind of introduces all the characters which have not been introduced properly so there are a lot of like you know characters in team b so like i can see why they needed this arc you know like I'm guessing in the next arc would probably involve them heavily. So that's why like this arc they're trying to focus on them and introduce all of them. So that in the future, like you know, we know who they are, what their quirks are, what their power are, if they are somehow involved in some other like you know battles and stuff. So yeah, okay, let's see. Zero H. Okay. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, super balanced. Okay. Damn, who is it? Wow, early bird. Okay, what early bird catches the worm? <laughs> Two more matches left. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Overboard with love. <laughs> Let's do. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. True. Yeah, that's a fact. Really. <laughs> oh my god, Monoma. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the underlings. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. 
Mmm, that's not Bakugo. E oh. Okay, okay. We make it, yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's like a very dang like you know, very um rash plan. <laughs> okay. Wow, this like the sounds. Whoa, damn. So this is how she perceives sound. Okay, someone's climbing. Oh, damn. This is her name is Tokagero or something. She's a chameleon, so. Oh no. Oh, tail splitter. Whoa, this is an interesting quirk. <laughs> wow. Damn, that's. 50 pieces. That's a really unique quirk. Damn! Glue squall. Oh, so he's like a glue man or something. Oh, damn! Yeah. Setsuna. Okay, who's Setsuna? Bondo. Fast it dries. Okay. Kam Kamakiri. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Now what? Oh, damn! Baku was like, nope, not on my watch. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah, there you go. He, he never would have done this before. Yo! <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Okay, that was a part of the plan. Alright, there you go. <laughs> but such... <laughs> yeah, he is unstoppable. Okay. I'll have complete victory in every fight. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I think he can probably do it. Who knows? Let's see. But class B shouldn't be underestimated. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. And with a kick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Monoma! Monoma is Monoma, getting crazy! Um, <laughs> hmm. Oh damn!
wasn't there supposed to be another one of them class b was yeah was was one of them there are four oh just to say one I don't think that's nah, nah th she's underestimating them too much okay whoa <laughs> okay there there he is okay what is his quirk weldcraft weld oh he's keto's voice actor his voice actor molecular level Damn. Oh no. Okay. Ooh. Damn, there you go. Let's go, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. But and when I'm in danger, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is that Bakugo from season one. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Okay, grab him. Won't work. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn, this is completely one sided. <laughs> yes. Nope. Nope. You're still making that same mistake. She's thinking that he's like the one man team here, but nope. <laughs> the blades won't work if you can't catch him, you know? Wow. He's like the main DPS, but the supports have a big, you know, big role here. <laughs> okay, there you go. Three captured. Oh, come on. 50 pieces. Oh. I don't think he can return indefinitely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's like taping them up. Wow. No, nope. and it's over. <laughs> you changed too much. Well, there you go. Four zero. <laughs> Four zero. This is heavily one sided. Oh, 
Okay, that was impressive. Very impressive. Wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> you didn't do more damage. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Too stuck into the plan. Hmm. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nah, there he is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got quite a cold or something. <laughs> <laughs> Moves come. Oh, wow. Never change, Bakugo. Never change. <laughs> okay. Switch <laughs> not Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay, we Okay, uh so we're gonna start with we, we still have some time left, don't we? Okay, Monoma, let's see what your team can do. Wow, okay. Yeah, they can tie the whole match. Um, what? Um Oh okay. Well <laughs> I'm wondering what her quirk is. She looks like a ghost, you know, like those ghost ladies. Yeah, I'm sure her her quirk is somehow related to ghosts or something. Yeah, Shinso will be a like you know. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what was Monoma's quirk? I forgot. Oh, he takes quirk, doesn't he? I forgot. You can copy quirk, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
True. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> but Deku, I'm sure Deku has some plan. What? What is that? <clears throat> oh, he's okay. That's That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's good. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'm guessing that's this. That's the end of this episode, I'm guessing. Yeah. Fifth battle. All right. Start. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> wait a minute. Um Oh, okay, uh, oh, I, I forgot the fact that Deku's team has one less people, person, like, that was what actually happened, wasn't it, like, like, Shinzo was the odd, like, you know, like, kind of the extra person, so he joined team A in the beginning, you know, in the first match, and then now he is joining team B, so the first match had more people in team A, and whereas in this match team b has more people that's an even bigger disadvantage like you know like i'm not talking about the you know, raw power factor that in itself is a problem but like you know like uh, okay just like let me make a calculation two three four so like like Deku's team has less members so obviously if someone gets captured you know one or two members like if it's like a tie like for example two members are captured in Deku's team two members are captured in um team uh, b okay that's the end in team b there's two members who are captured and if in team a two members are captured in team b there'll be three persons left and in team b there'll be two people left now that's like a big disadvantage i think but you know that was kind of the point here that's the reason why in the first match team a like you know uh, had more people uh, more like teammates so yeah that was actually the point of this whole match uh, you know of shinso kind of joining two teams so, but you know, like, as, as they were saying, like, their, like, quirks are kind of in a specialized, like, you know, uh, like, in more specialized directions. For example, um, um, Uraraka, she can use gravity to float objects and also, like, kind of, like, you know, use gravity to do, like, you know, some other stuff. Like, you know, can also use it as an offensive power. Um, <clears throat> uh, Ashido, she can melt things as she said uh mineta take things these are more specialized quirks like you know these are like you know like but like there's a big but here deku is in the team now i'm sure he can make some plan with it you know like he is intelligent he makes strategy he can plan stuff and like you know very quickly 
so i'm sure maybe he'll like you know use like you know kind of make use of these quirks these unique type of quirks and <clears throat> make a plan to go on the offensive uh, I'm, I'm guessing something like that will happen because like this is probably only going to work because deku is in the team if it was like if it was um uh, momo probably could have worked you know because momo is also kind of like the like brains of the team uh like she's kind of the leader in the leader position uh either probably couldn't have done it because either is more like the leader he is not the strategist like you know there's a difference between a leader and a strategist so the leader is the person who everyone listens to and the strategist is the person who makes the strategy and like you know kind of uh relays those to the leader and the leader kind of like you know boosts morales and stuff so like uh if if it was todoroki todoroki could have probably uh probably could have done something with that like you know he he's also kind of like a strategist in a little bit but i'm uh, like at least from like i think like momo is a better strategist than um todoroki so uh, so uh, like and deku is obviously like the master strategist of team a because you know his his plans are so so unique in like you know in a way like we've seen it from for this past couple of like you know seasons so <clears throat> like uh, so it's it's because it's deku here he can probably make use of these like you know quirks uh, to make something and and if it was like momo here as well in deku's place she could have probably also done something with it so it's because of this team they can probably make use of these quirks you know to do something here and the other team now we barely know anything about the other team here um like uh moroma we know we already we already saw his powers he like copies words uh shinso we know and uh um, is there anyone else we know uh no i don't think so uh okay so we have five people this i think there are two girls and three boys monoma like you know uh monoma and then shinso and there's this another guy who is kind of like wearing a baggy type of a suit i'm not sure what act it actually like you know his actual quirks are and he's also wearing a what is that called a, a monocle or a scout <laughs> something like that and um there's this other girl uh with uh some kind of a not sure what 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 is this costume like it's, it's kind of like a weird costume it has like a cap and like i'm not sure what that is and obviously the other girl we can kind of understand like you know what her work will be it will be somehow related to ghosts because you know uh like her <clears throat> clothes you know her dress it heavily resembles those uh uh you know those little like you know those ghosts we see in anime who, who kind of like this you know uh, has this kind of a triangle thing in their head and they kind of float around <laughs> like, you know anime ghosts those ghost ladies she her like you know her clothes heavily resemb resembles them and she her hand is like this and she said like something regarding like you know midoriya squirt is spooky so yeah it will somehow be related to ghosts that i can guess but the other two characters we don't know what their actual power is so i'm sure we'll get like you know we'll get some <clears throat> you know we'll get uh to know in, like obviously we'll get to know in the next episode because you know we're going to have the match then and okay so okay i'm going to talk about this uh, afterwards first let us talk about uh the match bakugo match that was impressive i have to say i knew bakugo made a plan but his plan I thought it would take a whole episode but he completely wrapped everything up in the first um 15 minutes like he just like you know like he knew what's going to happen and he like you know was confident that he could pull it off and he did it and his he, he like you know his plan was not some kind of like you know master like you know strategy or something nothing too complicated his plan was just that I'll go forward as like you know i'll strike in if they <clears throat> like you know if if they attack you guys i'll protect you if they attack me and i somehow become like you know like unable to move you help me simple plan 
one of the most simple plans and that's why i'm guessing they were kind of concerned as to think and they were thinking like will this really work but yeah it worked there you go and <clears throat> this also really showed everyone how bakugo really like you know has changed in a way because <laughs> like this is the same bakugo like in its episode one who was like you know screaming at deku and saying that oh like you are uh, uh what did he actually say uh, yeah you are um, um like failure you cannot do anything like how did you get this work how are you better than me i'm better than you uh, like same Bakugo, <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> like it's like a heaven and hell difference, and I'm really glad he changed in such a positive way. Like, like their rivalry was very unhealthy, you know. Like rivalries are great; they help people to go further beyond. But their rivalry was toxic that was not like you know that's not a good healthy rivalry and it could have you know like damaged their what can you say um like it, it could have affected them negatively in a way so i'm glad like you know bakugo is also like like you know he is like trying to change in a way and he has changed he's not trying to change he has changed and he has like you know he has like forgotten not forgotten but he has kept aside all the pride and everything and he has accepted the fact that yeah deku is like you know uh, similar to me he is on the same level as me and that's the main thing that like you know was kind of holding him back from the beginning from the beginning of like you know season 1 episode 1 his like you know his main problem was he did not acknowledge Deku. That was the main reason of all everything, you know, regarding him. Like he was unable to accept the fact that the same Deku who used to kind of go, like you know, follow him around and like you know say, and Deku used to say that, oh, Kachan, you are so strong, you are so strong, you know, you are the best. That same Deku is like you know has become has gotten a quirk and is kind of on the same level as him he was unable to accept that and that was the main reason of everything so that problem got solved so everything else will be all right now you know like now they like bakugo acknowledges that yeah deku and me we are on the same level and i need to surpass him that's a good way like you know uh, that's a healthy rivalry and yeah and also like obviously like he like it's not just Deku like he's also trying to uh, inter incorporate and interact with other other members of his class other teammates and everything like in this episode we saw how he actively used like you know teamwork which was something that the other team never even thought that he would do like that's another thing the reason why they lost you know team B like uh, like as tokage said that i thought like you know from every like all the interactions we have seen uh like at least we i thought that no like bakugo will be someone who won't like you know who won't be cooperative he will kind of rush forward and we all will kind of gang up on him capture him and then you know kind of go and capture the other me team members but uh, that's where they like you know feel like Tokage was kind of saying like all all the time he was she was saying that oh like uh, Bakugo is coming like you know like he won't listen to anyone so <coughs> he is the only danger here like Tokage never even thought that the other like you know team members would also pose a big danger because uh, uh, the girl guy who had the welding power like you know he was defeated by um, G uh, Jiro wasn't he yeah so like 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 that kind of proves here like not only bakugo was the like you know only attacker here like every all the other teammates had also their part but bakugo was kind of like the main like you know main uh, attack power the main dps in rpg terms you know <laughs> the main dps so he was like the main dps he went forward and all the other teammates they were kind of buffing him you know they were kind of making it difficult for the other like you know uh like for the enemy to operate 
uh, and they were like the, they had the scouting you know powers using the headphone you know the, the earphone jack like uh, like Bakugo was getting to know that yeah that person is there that person is there and that person is there so I should like you know he was able to make a good plan here and was able to capture them so quickly and Bakugo was not like you know it was not that Bakugo was doing everything Bakugo went like you know defeated someone and left him and the other teammates came in behind him and captured them like that's good teamwork you know like if Bakugo only had to like you know had to do everything by himself like you know defeating them uh, capturing them and carrying them back to prison that won't work like you know that wouldn't have worked Bakugo was like you know kind of going whacking them and like you know changing targets and whacking the other person again and they were like you know they were all like you know defeated and in came the other teammates they were like helping Bakugo like like you know they're giving Bakugo directions and uh, like Sero was using his tapes to kind of hinder the movements of everyone and also in the end we also saw Sero kind of play a big part you know uh, like everyone had played a big part um I, I kind of like you know I like uh, Jiro as I said like he she uh, helped uh, with the like uh, with stopping the welding guy you know uh, using the headphone like you know that amplifier thing that she did uh, she defeated him and uh, <clears throat> like uh, Sato he he helped Bakugo get out of that welding thing you know and uh, Sero in the end he was able to stop Tokage like those are some like you know like like everyone had a part in this and that's good and just like one thing i have to check out um the the thing that sero was saying uh, i was unable to properly like you know pay attention to that um just a sec okay uh tokage squirks lets her split her body into 50 pieces and move them at will the parts that leave her stop moving after a certain amount of time okay and she regenerates them on her main body okay so the parts stop moving and she kind of like you know that appears in her body later on i'm guessing about the next part but i don't think she can regenerate indefinitely all right like yao or yoruzu when she's tired she probably loses focus right if she split as much as she could to make noise then doesn't that mean it'll be harder for her to regenerate okay um so wouldn't she bring some back to her body? okay i understood now like at that moment i was unable to properly concentrate okay so the, th the thing that uh Sarah is saying is like uh as, the, as she's like you know as he said that uh the body parts that stop moving she kind of regenerates them in her body so that must have taken some kind of energy just like uh, momo like you know re requires food so when he gets she gets tired she start losing focus so like she probably like you know won't be focused that much and will try to bring those parts back to her body manually like she won't like regenerate it because to conserve energy and that's what like uh, like Sero did he kind of taped one part and used that you know part to kind of swing himself and like you know like use it to uh, go to her position just a sec let me again see what he did yeah he taped that part and okay he taped a grenade to that okay i i noticed that now okay it blew up okay uh, that time i was so excited i was unable to like pop properly concentrate so yeah he taped a grenade to it the bakugo's grenade it it blasted in mid-air in front of her she decided to you know kind of touch that and like you know by doing that she losing focus bakugo got him you know from her behind and uh, that's how they lost okay and yeah that was great and we also saw the other team's powers as well quirks as well so yeah and obviously like in like bakugo and they could then talk bakugo says that like i'll go forward you know you like you know you pay attention to your own <laughs> match <laughs> and like everyone is surprised that bakugo changed so much monoma is devastated she he says that oh my god what happened and then he like you know finds 
like you know the good part of it the positive part of it he says that oh like he is he was an unfortunate soul but he changed like thank god <laughs> and like you know he's kind of like kind of giving a big <laughs> like you know big type of uh speech but nobody cared so <laughs> yeah and then like in the end we see like you know them um, Baku, uh, Deku and their team and like their plan the team B's plan is to focus on Deku stop him and Deku's plan is to act as the bait perfect you know they want to focus on Deku Deku wants to act as the bait that's like perfect like, you know perfectly um, uh, what can I say uh, like combination like that's one of the perfect combination and let's see how they do it you know because stopping deku is pretty much you know quite impossible now they need brains if you know they if they want to stop deku like and i'm guessing shinzo will kind of do that he'll act as, as the brains here and so let's see like you know this is like a battle of wits and at the same time uh like you know battle of powers as well so yeah so that was it guys so that was uh, this episode this was episode number nine of my hero academia season five so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say uh anything you want to uh, share your opinion about this episode i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia season five so until then goodbye and have a nice day